Hello, Dr. Brandon Vaughn, that tie-dye guy, coming to you today with three simple tips to make you a better reader. Borderline on a speed reader, whatever that is. I was fascinated when I was growing up trying to be a speed reader, thinking that I could read an entire book in 30 minutes or less. I thought, wow, this is a great way to get through school. Studied a lot of stuff, found that a lot of it didn't really work for me. So I want to share with you some of the things I learned that did work for me to make me a better reader, including my favorite hack I've ever discovered to be a better, more consistent reader and to read faster than I normally would have. The problem with many reading habits that we have is we do a lot of things that slow us down. We have some bad habits. So this is tip number one is to be on the lookout for bad habits. Now, one of the worst habits that we do is we tend to read one word at a time and in a series of motions, we read each word and then we go to the next line and then we go back and forth like that. Or we read the line and we speak that word in our head as we're reading it, something that's called subvocalization. These are all bad habits that we have to learn to be better about. Speed reading suggests that what we need to try to do is to group our words and chunk them together when we read them instead of reading them as individual words. Process multiple words at once. It reduces the time it takes to read and understand the text when we do that. We read small chunks or phrases, and what we can do is we could practice this. Well, we'll talk about practice in just a minute, but you can practice chunking words together and reading that way. Subvocalization is the tendency where we process what we read silently in our head by basically pronouncing the word as if we were talking. Now, what's interesting is I'm going to give you a hack in just a minute that actually turns that on its head and makes it work for us instead of against us. But if you find yourself basically doing this in your head, you can, again, practice. One easy way to do this is to use your finger to scan, almost like you're underlining what you're reading. And, and I was taught in school, don't do that, but actually this can help you focus and not have your mind drift and not sub-vocalize nearly as much as you trace through the material and you're basically using your finger to point through it. The second tip that I have for you along the lines of what we're saying using your fingers is that you can use app software out there to actually help you practice and do better. Now, there's a variety of software out there that you can use to basically help you be a better reader, such as Spreader or OutRead or ExcelRead are all different software that you can use. That Basically, you spend about 15 to 20 minutes a day practicing doing the very steps we're talking about, chunking words or using some motion to basically speed up the, the amount that you're reading and, and go forth from there. That's also something, but that's a costly thing for many of these apps and programs, but worth it if you're serious about trying to improve your speed. Let me give you my third hack, which is my favorite of all, that I, I can't believe it's taken me this long to basically discover. Basically, the idea is if you involve more than one of your senses at a time, you're going to find that your concentration is going to increase and you'll be able to process information faster. This is one of the problems I've always had when I've read because as I'm reading this with my eyes, I am thinking about stuff that I need to do. I'm, I'm distracted and then I realize I've read a whole paragraph. I didn't even remember what it said, so I'll reread it. That's another bad technique called regressing, when we're constantly regressing over material. I find that if I use more than one of my senses at a time, I can minimize that distraction. So you could read with your eyes and vocalize it with your mouth, but we tend to speak slow, so that is going to slow us down. Using your finger is a physical thing that can speed up. So reading with your eyes and using your fingers to trace it is one way to do that. The trick I found is to read and listen 
to the book at the same time. Now, I used to feel guilty about this, but back in the old days before the printing press, the way that stories were told were audibly. People would get up and tell stories, and you would listen to those stories. So you didn't read books back thousands of years ago. You listened to stories being told. And this is the trick that I have found. Now, to show you an example of this, on this is not going to be very good on the screen, but I will use something like a Kindle app where I'm reading a book, and many books you can get, you can actually buy the Audible book at the same time. And in the Kindle, at least on the iPad, when it happens, you can download this and you can play it. And what will happen is you will see it traces the words and the speed dial down here, I put on double speed. Now, it's going to sound very fast, but you're listening and reading at the same time. You'll find as you relax, you can process it reading faster. So now you're reading a book twice as fast as what you probably normally would read this. ...of non-essentials, lending you time. Sam Elliott is a capable executive in Silicon Valley who found himself stretched too thin after his company was acquired by a larger bureaucratic business. He was in earnest about being a good citizen in his new role, so he said yes to many requests without really thinking about it. But as a result, he would spend the whole day rushing from one meeting and conference call to another, trying to please everyone, when, encouraged by his small wins, he pushed back a bit more. Now when a request would come in, he would pull. So this is a way that I will read an entire chapter in literally 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, depending on the length of the chapter. Now, if the Audible book is not available inside the app, you could start the Audible book from a different app or some other place that you might buy the audio book from and then flip back to your reading app and then read the book. And what happens, you say, well, but there is no audio book for something that I want to read. Well, on many of these apps, if you go into the accessibility features, you can actually have the device read the book for you, even PDF files or emails or anything like that, you can actually have it read it to you using accessibility features. And it's not quite as good as an audio book with a professional actor because it's usually using computer synthesis to do the voice, but it works just as well. And you can basically have your device read anything to you. And the simple action of looking and listening at the same time you'll find, especially when you put it on, say, double speed or even triple speed, how much more you get done and how much more focused you are and how you end up being a speed reader without a lot of extra practice and constant work to make yourself faster. Go try this hack today. I think you will enjoy it. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone mention it before. It makes a whole lot of sense to me. And I think it can make a world of difference for you if you're trying to be a stronger, faster, more consistent reader. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, go out and live your life with passion, intention, and purpose. Your life is an occasion. Rise to it. <laughs>